Hello and welcome to Invitation Tracker. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to get, use, and modify a free Invitation Tracker template. Let's head to the first exercise, exercise one. From within Excel, go to File, New. In the search field, type Wedding Invitation. You can pick any of these you like. We're gonna go with this one. And click Create. And now we have the basic invitation tracker. Of course, this tracker isn't limited to weddings. It can be used for any event. Now let's talk about some basic usage in the next exercise, exercise two. Now by default, this is designed to track all guest names. For example, we sent the invitation to Isabel. There's three people in the party. There's also a spouse and a relative. If we don't need it to be that elaborate, what we can do is right click, delete table row. So depending on your preference, you can roll with either option. For me, I'm just gonna delete these blank rows. Okay, so we have the name, and then we have another column called sent. And we can toggle this between yes or no. The next column is RSVP, where we can select yes, no, or tentative. If we select yes, all three in the party will be included in the attending count. So currently that's 17. Let's change the RSVP to no. That dropped to 14, and not attending went up to six. And if I switch this to tentative, not attending goes back down to three. And any that are blank goes into this outstanding total. Now the way my mind works is I would rather have yes, no, outstanding, and tentative as drop down choices. And I'd like these subtotals accordingly. So let's make that change really quickly. Let's select all of these, go to data validation, and our source is gonna be yes, no, tentative, and outstanding. So for me, if I haven't heard back yet, they're gonna be outstanding. If I have heard back, then I'll know if they've marked yes, no, or tentative. So now we just need to update these subtotals. So for outstanding, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go equals some ifs, and we wanna add up this column of numbers, comma, but we only wanna include those rows where this column, comma, is equal to outstanding. Close function and enter. And here we've invited two people and two people. And then I'd also like a tentative. So I'm gonna cruise over here, tentative. And once again, we're gonna use the sum ifs function. And we want to add up this column of numbers, comma. We only wanna include those rows where this column, comma, is equal to tentative. Close function and enter. Now let's move to the next exercise where we'll talk about some additional formatting options. By the way, as you know, Excel is a big place and I'd love to help you learn more about it. I'll help you automate your manual recurring Excel tasks. I'd love to have you check out my training programs. Use the link in the description to learn more. Exercise three. Right now it's hard to see if I'm waiting for my guest or my guest is waiting for me to send the invite. So for example, let's change this to no and let's change this to no. Now at a glance, it's hard for me to see exactly which invitations I need to get out. So one option is to use conditional formatting. I'm gonna select this column. I'm gonna go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Equal To. If the cell value is equal to the word no, pick any format you want, I'm gonna go with yellow. Click OK. Now it's easy for me to spot which invitations I need to send. Once I send it, that formatting goes away. Perfect. And let's do the same thing with this column. I'd like to know which guests I'm waiting to hear back from. So once again, I'm gonna to go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, equal to, outstanding. Pick any color you want, I'm gonna go with yellow, click OK. Now at a glance, it's easy to see who I'm waiting to hear back from. And as soon as I do hear back from them, that formatting goes away. So that's how we can get, use, and modify a really cool invitation tracking template. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 